Hi, grade five. This week we are reading poetry, both in the reading writing workshop textbook and in the literature anthology later on this week. This week's essential question is, how do you express something that is important to you? So the poems that we're reading today, How Do I Hold the Summer, uh, Catching a Fly, and When I Dance, all of these show how people express things that are important to them. How do I hold the summer? The sun is setting sooner now, my swimsuit's packed away, how do I hold the summer fast, or ask it please to stay? The lake like cold forbidding glass, the last sailboat has, cro has crossed. Green leaves gone gold, fall, float away, here's winter's veil of frost. I thought of ice and barren limbs, last winter's snow so deep. I know I cannot ball up light, and green grass just won't keep. So I'll search for signs of summer, hold memories of each, soft plumes of brown pressed in a book, a pit of the pit of one ripe peach, each instance of a cricket's chirp and every bird's sweet call, and store them up in a poem to read when snow begins to fall. So here the speaker is asking, how do I hold the summer fast or ask it please to stay? Now this question here uh, indicates that the speaker loves summer and does not want it to end. In contrast, there is negative language later on in the poem that describes the feeling um, of the speaker about fall and winter. It says, uh, ice and barren limbs. Now remember what barren means. Barren was one of our vocabulary words. Now something that is barren is lifeless and not able to grow anything. So this is in contrast to the summer where everything is growing and everything is in bloom and everything is beautiful, right? The last two stanzas of the poem uh, clarify the speaker's purpose to store memories of the summer, to read and remember in winter after the summer has gone away. Okay, let's move on to the next poem. Our next poem is called Catching a Fly. It lighted uninvited upon the china plate next to the peas. No hand I raised, nor finger flicked, but rather found a lens. Framed, focused, zoomed in, held the hands still. The appearance of hands, like two fine threads, caught plodding, planning. Greedy goggle eyes, webbed wings, like me, invading but no time to pause, he'd go. And right at the last, instead of a swat, I snapped. Okay, so here, what is happening in this poem? While the speaker is eating, uh, a fly lands on a plate, and rather than swatting this fly, the speaker points a camera at it. So the speaker takes a photo of the fly. The speaker then describes the fly as seen through the camera. Okay, and finally, the, the speaker, instead of killing the fly, instead of swatting it, the uh, speaker decides to take a photo of it. When I Dance is our, second, our third poem. Always want to break out, use my arms and legs to shout. On any dark day that doesn't go exactly my way, I bust a move, get a groove, feet feel the ground. That slaps the only sound... Slap, pound, my body needs to charge. I play my tracks, I make it large, to take myself away. Nothing else I need to say. So remember this week we were talking about how uh, people express things um, that are important to them, express themselves through um, dance in this case. So here in the first stanza it says, always want to break out, use my arms and legs to shout. Can you shout with your arms and legs? No, so this describes how the reader, uh, sorry, how the uh, writer expresses, how the poet expresses himself or herself. Okay, the speaker wants to move his body and dance in order to express himself. Okay, and the last thing that we discussed today was the stanza, uh, what stanza, sorry, and meter are. What is uh, a stanza? A stanza is a group of lines in a poem. Now, in poems, um, often we have stanzas or groups of lines that are arranged together. Uh, each stanza is a unit or a section of the, pro of the uh, poem that expresses a key idea. So each uh, stanza within the poem has a main idea, and together these ideas um, help form a poem's main message. Um, so that's what a stanza is. What is meter? Meter is 
also called a rhythm. Meter is the a regular pattern of sounds in a line. Okay, and we discussed in class how each um, each line that has meter has a pattern usually of um, stressed and unstressed syllables. Okay, so here let's look at um, some of these for, for examples. So look at this excerpt from page 295, How Do I Hold the Summer? So I'll search for signs of summer. Look how there is a stressed syllable um, and then one that is unstressed. So I'll search, here this is stressed, for signs, signs is stressed, summer is stressed also. Okay, so this is meter, uh, the regular pattern of sounds in a line. They sound the same. So I'll search for signs of summer, hold memories of each, soft plumes of brown pressed in a book, one, the pit of one ripe peach. Okay, so these are, so this um, part of the poem has regular meter. It means rhythm. Okay, so meter again means rhythm in a poem. Why do we use these, um, why is it, uh, why is a poem divided into stanzas and why do we use meter in a, um, in a poem? This is to um, help uh, the reader uh, understand and enjoy the poem also appreciate the poem, right? Because it um, enables you to uh, focus on specific words, okay? The reader, can, um, the reader can recognize what is important to the uh, poet just from the, the words that are stressed in the line, okay? So all you guys need to remember is that meter is the rhythm in uh, a line in a poem.